Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Here we are working on project four. Um, so I've opened my document. I am going to make a shape and I'm going to fill it. And I'm actually going to use the gradient. So the gradient tool, which as we know is right by the paint bucket. Um, so it's probably the first thing that you're going to see when you're trying to use the paint bucket. Um, so this is a gradient tool. And what the gradient tool does is it, it takes the two colors that are in your, um, your toolbox, the foreground color and the background color, and it creates a gradient with them. So I'm going to click and I'm going to drag through my shape and it is going to fill it. And depending on how you drag, will make the color different. So you can do it however you want to do it and uh, see how you like it. Um, okay, so just like before, we are going to add to and take away from, I'm holding down my shift key, add to the selection and my Alt key to take away from this selection. And I'm gonna do another gradient. So I'm changing both foreground and background because I want them different. And this is a really weird shape, so it'll be interesting to see how it creates a gradient. I'm gonna go with that. So I'm gonna deselect by clicking elsewhere. Um, and then I think I think this looks a little clunky, so I'm gonna maybe cut some of this out. So I'm hitting my space bar. So I'm making my shape. So that's my selection. And then I'm just hitting my backspace, backspace I meant um, to cut that out. And okay, so now I'm going to make a new layer. So I have that on one layer. I'm going to make a new layer layer by clicking at the bottom here. And might stick to my gradient theme and change it. Oopsie. Control Z, get my piece, my selection back. Actually click on the gradient this time. Click. Sometimes when you say the word click, it registers faster. So you can see how um, if I start way out here and I drag way through, it has a pretty non-existent. It has a very subtle gradient. And if I click here and drag in a very short gradient, it's a very harsh gradient. All right, I'm good with that. And I'm gonna do the same also using the theme of cutting shapes out.
And so there we have that shape and that's what is on that second layer. And so now, okay, so now I kind of like that. So what I'm gonna do is I would like to copy that. So I am going to take that layer, which is layer one, and I'm gonna drag that into the new layer icon at the bottom and that is going to copy that layer. So now I have layer one and layer one copy. So when I go up and I get the selection tool and I move that, that is now A on its own layer and B exactly the same. Uh, what I think I'm gonna do is I am going to flip that. So I'm gonna go up to edit, transform, and then flip horizontal because I, I, want it, I want the blue to be on this side and the green or the teal to be on the other side. So I'm gonna do that. So there it is flipped horizontally. And then, you know, maybe I will do the same thing to layer, to my background layer. Let's see, I don't know if I can do it because it's locked. But I think it's saying I can't. Oh, I did. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing for that. I'm going to do edit, transform. Um, this time, instead of flipping horizontally, I'm going to flip vertically. So vertically, so it's still up and down. And then I'm going to move it. Oh, I think I'm going to flip it horizontally as well. So edit, transform, flip horizontally. And let's see, let's make it symmetrical. So it goes to the middle of here. No, I think I think I'm gonna flip it again. So edit, transform. Oopsie. I want it horizontally. No, nope, that's not what I want. I guess I just don't know what I want. Okay, maybe from here. Again, and I don't know how many times I've done this. I've probably like repeated this. It's probably looked just like this a second ago. I don't know if that worked. That's not what I wanted to look like. Yeah, okay. I don't know. Here we are. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm going to do that. Okay, so now I want to move this whole thing down. So I am going to click on layer one copy. So I want all, all, all of my layers have to move. I'm holding my shift key and I'm going to click the background layer. So now you'll notice that all of those layers are selected and I'm going to just drag the whole shebang. Okay, so let's see, can I? Okay. Now I'm going to drag the whole shebang down. Okay, there we go. Okay, but now I have to select one of these layers. I can't work on all four of them at the same time. So now I'm going to make a couple shapes and play with the opacity. So I'm gonna go with some ellipses. Oh, however, I need, I need to put it on a new layer. So I'm going to make a new layer. And then I'm going to fill it. So I'm going to move away from the gradient. I think I'm going to go with some greens, maybe. Nah. Maybe some light blue. And I'm gonna 
use my paint bucket rather than the gradient tool. Fill it. That looks really solid. So I think it looks a little too solid. So I'm going to go back in and use my cutting tool. Okay, so that is not where I want it to be. So I can just click inside it and just move it a little bit. And also just FYI, you can also move it by using your arrow keys on the keyboard and that allows for minute changes. And then I'm gonna track space on my keyboard. And okay, I like that. So I am going to copy that. So I'm gonna drag that into my new layer icon. And I think I missed. New layer icon and then let go down there. There we go. Okay, so now I'm going to go back to the move tool and I'm going to bring it over here. I am going to rotate that, edit, transform, rotate, and then And then I think I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. I can't. I have to click the checkbox, say OK. I like the rotation, and then edit, transform. So actually, that's why I kind of prefer using the free transform, because if you're free transform, you can do all anything in one felt swoop. But when you choose edit, transform, something, you're stuck with that one. OK, so I want to make it smaller. So I'm holding my shift key. <clears throat> I'm dragging a corner and then I have to click the checkbox at the top and then I'm going to move it and rest it right here. And this one, I think I'm going to There, and then I think I want to, I'm going to copy my layer two, because that is the smaller of the egg shapes, if we will. And then I'm going to put that one over here, and then I'm going to change the color. So now, to change the color of this, it's kind of tricky, because it is little. But I'm gonna I'm gonna go with a red, and I might be able to do it with the paint bucket. Okay, I can. So if I couldn't, no, I'm just gonna go with that. So the paint bucket. Okay, so I want that behind the other one though. So I'm gonna drag it below, and hopefully, it's going to. Oh, I dragged it. I dragged it. I need to go below this one. Um, I'm going to add a couple more things. So we are supposed to be cutting and pasting, which we've done. Um, let's do some more of that. So I'm about this. Let's make a rectangle. And I'm going to... Fill it with, let's go with the teal. So I'm going to switch my background to my foreground color. I'm going to go to my paint bucket, click, and I'm going to fill it. And then I'm going to cut from here. So I'm going to make, so I'm going to edit, cut, and I'm cutting it rather than backspacing it because I want to keep it. So then I'm going to edit, paste, and you will notice, okay, it went right back to where it was. You'll also notice I have a new layer, and that is filling 
And so I think I'll put this down here. So we cut and we paste. We also need to play with the opacity. So um, let's see. I'm going to make some little squares. I think down here could use some squares. And before I actually fill that, I need to make this on a new layer. So click away. So I, I still have my selection here. I can just change um, the layer that it's on by making a new layer and it's still there. My, my selection is still there. I can just, now it's gonna land on the new layer. So I'm gonna fill that, except I didn't want that color. I actually want purple. and refill that. So now I'm going to just play with the opacity on that. And then I'm going to move that baby over here so you can see through it. And okay, so So we have copied and pasted, we've copied layers, we've changed the opacity, we have um, added to a selection and taken away from a selection. Um, I think I'm going to copy this layer and move that over here because I feel like we need something. And this, I would like that. To be up here, and I'm going to rotate that. Um, so you can also, let's see, we can do it in Photo P. In Photoshop, you can go Control T. Oh, no. Control T is not something we can use in Photo B. Okay, so I'm going to go edit, rotate, transform, rotate. Oh, I have to deselect first. So I'm on this layer. It didn't know it was on that layer. So edit, transform. Rotate. So the, the nice thing about this program and also Photoshop is if you're trying to do something that you physically can't do because you're on the wrong layer, etc., it doesn't just sit there and look at you. It tells you you can't do that. And you kind of have to figure, I mean, it tells you why. So it's, it's much easier. Okay, so now I'm going to add a background to my composition. I'm going to add a new layer. And what color should I use? I should probably get away completely from these colors. Let's try this. So I'm going to add it. And oh no, all I have to do is drag this layer to the very bottom. And there is my composition. So now I'm going to file I'm going to save it as a PSD and try to open it again and see what happens. So I'm going to close. And I'm going to file, open, yeah. So I think it's going to work for me. I've put in a, a question as to why it's not working for you guys. But um, so when you're done with this, you're going to file export as 
JPEG. I'm going to say that that looks good. I'm not changing anything. I'm going to say save. So make sure that you finish this all in one felt swoop, unfortunately, for today anyway. All right. Have a great day.